Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. You know, one of the reasons why some of us have a difficult, a difficult <clears throat> time believing not only in God, but in the Bible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Believing in the stories, believing in the the uh, the truths, the principles of the Bible. We can sit there and read something that says, do not do this or that, for it is an abomination to God. And we will find a reason in this society to make it right anyway. Well, that was then. This is now. I don't understand what it is other than the fallen nature that is in our flesh that makes us want to reason with sin. Not do away with sin, reason with it. We rationalize it, we excuse it, we explain it, we understand it, but we won't get rid of it. We won't kick that bad boy to the curb because if it feels so good, it's got to be right. It was an old song we used to party to. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to do right. That is our mindset in today's society. Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Oh, come on. Talk about an adulterous song. And boy, folks made love to it. Folks got their groove on to it. You know, when you are, <clears throat> let me say this. When you are connected to God, truly connected, not by mental consent, <laughs> you know, but we truly are connected gut to gut, heart to heart, soul to soul. The things that turn God off are the very things that turn you and me off. When we're connected, when we're not connected, the things that turn God off, for some reason, that annoys us. Don't act like you're better than I am holier than thou. I don't want to hear it. You don't know what I've been through. Well, guess what? No matter what you've been through, God's standards don't change, even if yours do. It makes it difficult because you want it your way. You want to go to Wendy's. You want your whole life to be a Wendy's. My way or the highway. Get out of my way, because I'm going to do my thing. It's your thing. Yeah, but you want to do what you want to do. But you don't want to do what he wants you to do. You don't want to not do what he does not want you to do. And that's why you won't believe. That's why you refuse to accept God's word. Because every principle in the Bible, in the Word of God, is diametrically opposed to your flesh. And if your flesh wants it, don't hold me back, baby. Get out of my way. I got to go take care of my needs. Let me tell you something. Number one. God will not require anything of you that he will not enable you to abstain from. He empowers us big time. I know the life I used to live. I was a shameless little hussy. Wasn't all that little. But anyway, I was a shameless one. Because I was so disillusioned by life. I was biting off my own nose to spite my face. And I just had a forget it attitude. I just do whatever, just whatever, whatever. Now, 
Here's the thing. When people try to tell me about God, the ways of God, ah, come on, I don't want to hear that crap. But when I got in God, when God and I really connected, his ways made sense. That's how you know whether you're really connected or not. His ways make sense. You want his ways. You get on your own nerves when you can't uh, rise to the occasion, so to speak. When you see yourself falling short, you get on your own nerves. But when you, it doesn't bother you, and you can do any sin and any dastardly deed and any abomination that comes to your little pea brain to do and that titillates your little flesh and you just go do it, baby, and you find every reason under the sun to do it. And it makes sense to you. Trust me, you are not connected. You either need to get reconnected, recommitted, or you need to stop lying about your about your belief in Christ. See, when you are filled with the Spirit of God, you get an automatic new nature. So the things you used to do bother you now. Didn't bother you then. Oh, but they bother you now. Some things you won't have anything to do with. Not because you're holier than thou. Because you have a new nature. And your new nature is bent on righteousness and holiness, integrity, love, purity, genuineness. But when you have your old nature working in you, and that's the big man in charge, not God, you get so annoyed when you hear what's right. You feel like somebody's being holier than thou. You know, you refer to God as the man upstairs. Because you're not connected. You don't know the man. You don't know him. You never met him. You never encountered him. When you encounter God, you love people. When you encounter God, you love things that before you may have hated. And you hate the things that before you love, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, it's not a total overnight change, but your nature changes. There's a difference between nature and the process. Okay. Now, if I'm out in the rain and I hold up and I make my own umbrella and I hold it up and I make it out of normal material. That rain's still going to get on me because it's not only going to run down the side of it, it's going to soak through and drip on me anyway. Why? Because it's material, but it has not been waterproofed. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are sin-proof. Now, you may still get a little dirty from time to time, but it's not because of the Holy Spirit. It's because you come out from under the umbrella and you lay your umbrella down and go do your thing. So my point to you is if you really, really want to have a hunger and thirst for righteousness, if you really, really want to have a heart full of love, if you really want to have peace abiding in your soul and calming your mind, guess what? You better go to God, make the connection, pursue him until you encounter him and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, God said out of his own words, for those that diligently seek him, they would find him. He would manifest himself to those that hunger and yearn after him. But if you're not hungry, if you're not yearning, if sitting in church is enough for you, you will never encounter him unless he chooses to pick you out of a crowd for his purpose. You will never encounter him. You have to do the hot pursuit. And 
once you do the hot pursuit and you catch him, you make that connection and he manifests himself to you and your heart is flooded with the love of God and the peace of God and the beauty of holiness, you won't be the same. You'll still be in the process of changing because you'll get in and out from under the umbrella from time to time, but you will want to stay under the umbrella, under God's covering, because in your mind, because of the new nature, your mind will be so renewed, you will want him and his ways way more than what's out there in the world. And if loving you was wrong, instead of saying, I don't want to do right, you'll be saying, I don't want to do wrong. See, I wouldn't want to be you. You cut that loose like a hot potato. God bless you as you choose this day whom you will serve.